Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis. We're here today to discuss things that are happening in Queen Anne's County. And one of the things that are coming up is the Senior Summit. It will be May 15th at the 4-H Park here in Centerville. And today I have one of the vendors. He is William Clements, and he's from Caroline County Habitat for Humanity. So thank you for coming in. Glad to be here. Um, first thing I want to ask you about is Habitat for humanity in case mm -hmm. people don't know what you actually do. Okay. Uh, Habitat for Humanity is a worldwide uh, Christian organization that's uh, ecumenical that provides housing solutions for low and moderate income families around the world. So right at this point there are over a million homes built and I think this last year they were either number three or number five builder in the world. Okay. So that's the sort of international scope. Uh, on a local level, uh, we have uh, Caroline County where we build new homes, but we also do repairs and weatherizations and other things and have been doing them in Queen, Ann Queen Anne's County for two, two years also. So you said something about a name change or? Yes, well, we're actually adding Queen, Queen Anne's to our service area. So okay. our service area will be Caroline and Queen Anne's County. Uh, counties and uh, we'll be doing the same thing we're doing there which is uh, building new homes for low and moderate income households and also doing repairs weatherizations and and uh, energy upgrades and such for those same families now how does someone apply how would they get in touch with you what do they need to go through those types of things okay um, well the uh, it's pretty simple in a lot of ways. They just call our office and we have a couple different application streams. If they're looking for housing, for new housing, they go through a Habitat application. Uh, and the Habitat application includes three basic priorities. Uh, they're sort of the principles of Habitat internationally. is a need for housing. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is ability to pay because they do pay a mortgage. Okay. And number three is the uh, sweat equity. They put in anywhere in our county, it's different everywhere, but in our county they put in 350 to 450 hours of sweat equity. What does that mean? That means they're going to be working on houses, either their house okay. or somebody else's house, or they may be going. We have classes they attend for home ownership. We have training, different training for budgeting and banking and educating them to be homeowners. So okay. that's a part of their sweat equity piece of, the, of that. And then we do hand the deed of the house over to them and they pay the mortgage. Okay. So um, if someone <clears throat> wants to get in touch with you, do you have a phone number mm -hmm. or? Yep, they can call our main office number, which is 410-479-9200. And uh, that's, a, that's a, you pretty much can uh, get every, every answer you need there. Or they can go to our website, which right now is www.carolinehabitat.org. Okay. And uh, they can see there's some contact info there and some applications. But the best way is probably to call us. Okay. I was going to say, if, could someone <clears throat> drive to the, the office and talk to somebody? Yeah, or yeah we're, our office is open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, and it's in Denton okay. at this point. Right. Um, so, um, and it'll probably remain in Denton, but we may have a satellite sort of an office here at some point in, in Queen Anne's. Right. So, <clears throat> is it just you just build houses or you mm -hmm. refurbish? We, How we does do, that all work? Well, we do repairs and weatherizations too. So we, um, if somebody had owned a home, right, uh, and they needed a roof, let's say, we would what we would do is find a way to get resources to do that roof. Okay. And we would either, we would bid in on the process, maybe use our group of volunteers. Sometimes, we, like right now, we have a, a sort of a, a big load of wet, of roofing. We we were donated through Habitat. So we're able to do a roof that's significantly less than other contractors. And, but uh, we also use USDA Rural Development, which is a provider of loans and grants for, okay. for um, rural communities. So that's another funding source that we can use and use. And then people over 63 can actually get a grant through that program for repairs. Oh, so again, right. there's different ways. And the state of Maryland actually has a repair program that they do offer resourcing and funding. So we try to tap into whatever resources are available to, you know, that provide either at low cost or low payments or, or no cost to okay. these families. So let's say a senior, things happen and they mm -hmm. end up in a wheelchair. Right. Family could contact you to have a ramp built? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, and again, what we would look at, there's different funding streams that will actually pay for the materials and the labor to do the ramps. Okay. And that way the family doesn't have to come up with any money or out of pocket expenses right. especially and again most of our we did weatherizations now we've done over like 52 in the last years in Queen Anne's and Caroline County and most of them have been probably 90 percent have been people over 65 right. uh, with very moderate incomes so so again we go in and do the weatherization new appliances new heating cooling systems a lot of the people haven't had running water don't have heat don't have a water heater they you know a lot of things like that we're able to go in and, and do the repairs and and make the house healthy and safe to live in. Okay. You're going to be out at the Senior Summit. Tell us what people may see when they come by your booth. Well, they're going to be able to see a little bit of a, you know, a dis display of our projects. Okay. Uh, we'll have some information, some flyers. Um, we'll be able to actually take applications uh, from people or at least give them the application package and explain to them what the requirements are. Uh, for weatherization repairs and also for new home ownership uh, but again they'll be able to see sort of hands-on uh, they'll have we'll have display boards and things with pictures of all the projects and families that we've worked with in, in the past and and uh, and we can explain in detail what what requirements our pro you know our programs have and if someone's able to maybe volunteer could they give their name or oh, absolutely. sign up we always love volunteers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is so. there a training i mean i'm sure you have to have some ability I um, mean no not really I mean we don't uh, our volunteers uh, we we have people from you know from 16 to 85 and they'll come to the job site with various levels of skills we have a construction manager at each site okay uh, and our primary construction manager is um, has like 30 years experience so if, if he wants to do siding he's gonna sit down and show you exactly what to do okay so really no skills at all in fact we have upcoming we have our what's called a women's build event which is a is a national event that Lowe's sponsors and last year we had 70 some women and did a complete floor deck on a house in the two days we did with uh, with the women and they yeah. none of them most of them have never seen a, a right. power saw before in their yeah, hands <laughs> but again they were there were some operating the power saws some were hammering nails some were measuring so again it was you know, we got a lot. You just done. you you just have to have the heart and willpower to do it because that's that's, that's, that's it. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, if you if you really want to help somebody, you'll learn and you'll right. do what you need to do. Right, and our volunteers, we don't you know again we have different layers of volunteers, but if somebody wanted to just come out on a Saturday and put a day in and right, they could do that if they you know again if they want to come out for a long and more on a consistent basis and learn skills, they could actually learn repairs and different things weatherization and, and uh, you know energy savings techniques all those sorts of things working alongside of us right so uh, kind of like an internship it is <laughs> it is and we again we work with the Department of Corrections actually from Church Hill okay so they come out with us three days a week and we uh, we have oh, that's a, a, interesting it is that's... a very interesting yeah and again we have uh, about five guys with us usually and uh, they they're in you know, basically in a in the early release program mm -hmm. so they're on the way out most of them are minor offenders and uh, they'll they'll learn again weatherization skills they'll learn how to frame they'll learn how to sheetrock they'll see the plumbing the wiring the foundations and Give them uh, job training there are n numbers of them have had references from right. our construction manager and actually have a marketable skill when they leave that's wonderful it's a it's that's a good program and most of them are hard-working and, and, and enjoy right. they they like being with us because it's their outdoors mm -hmm. they're treated well they're learning a skill and uh, they're doing something for the community it's sort of a give back so well hopefully people will stop by your booth and if not so. they you know can give you a call if they know somebody that needs help or if they want to volunteer absolutely well we thank you for coming out William okay. and come to the summit and look them up okay thank you <laughs>